Yeah, so our very last indeterminate form here, and that's that of infinity to the zeroth power. And uh, we bump into it as we look at this problem here. Limit is x goes to uh, infinity of ln of x to the power 1 over x. Yeah, cool. Now, um, here's a graph of ln of x. Um, so equals y on the y-x axis, right? Okay, cool. And so um, if you look, clearly as x goes to infinity, then ln of x, although a very s gr slow growing function, is going to eventually get to uh, infinity. So this here, uh, the base is going to go to infinity. And clearly as x goes to infinity, 1 over x is going to go to 0. So as claimed, we have the infinity to the 0th power, right? Okay, so we're going to be able to somehow rewrite this and get it to uh, another indeterminate form, um, 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, from which we could uh, use L'Hopital's and take care of stuff, right? Cool. All right, so um, to do that, you've already seen this. I've already used it many a time in the previous examples, but e to the ln of x is equal to x. So using that, we could rewrite this fella as follows and rewrite our entire problem as follows which is limit is x goes to infinity of um, and then it's going to be e to the um, ln of uh, and then it's going to be um, ln of um, uh, x to, to the 1 over x power right and so by using um, the uh, properties of ln, then we could rewrite this as limit as x goes to infinity of um, e to the uh, 1 over x times ln of um, ln of x, right? Cool. And this is the correct uh, rewriting. And then now by using the limit rule that I used in example um, 3 and example, um, example uh, sorry, 5 and 6, um, I could do the following, which is e to the, I assume that you've watched at least one of those, um, e to the uh, limit is x goes to infinity of, um, and then it's going to be 1 over x times ln of ln of x. Okay, cool. Now, as x goes to infinity, uh, we see that 1 over x is going to go to 0, as we've already said. So we have e to the 0 times and we know ln of x goes to infinity. So ln of, ln of x is going to also go to infinity. That's 0 times infinity. And if, as I've already said in previous videos, including the last one, we really like 0 times infinity or 0 times negative infinity because we could very easily rewrite it so that it's the infinity over infinity situation, right? Okay, cool. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to simply write... Um, and this was dumb I, that I thought of this as 1 over x when I could have just seen it as a denominator. But yeah, we're just going to say this is the same thing as <laughs> limit is x goes to infinity of ln of ln of x um, over x. And then now it's infinity over infinity where we apply L'Hopital's. And by um, applying L'Hopital's rule, um, I guess I could rewrite in red and get rid of a lot of stuff that I've written over here. Um except for just what we need, right? Okay, and so let me just slide this fella to the left. Yeah, I knew that it was gonna chop off a portion of my graph, but whatever, it's okay. Uh, we'll live right there, that missing chunk, huh? Okay, but whatever. All right, so then, um, as I just said, we just got infinity over infinity, right? Like, uh, this is infinity and that's infinity at as x goes to infinity. So uh, then we use L'Hopital's and we're gonna write e to the limit is x goes to infinity of derivative of this. Derivative of that is 1 over ln of x times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. And then, um, right? Isn't that right? Yeah, 1 over ln of x times the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. And then divided by the derivative of the denominator function is just 1. So this is all we have is x goes to infinity. Um, can we evaluate this? It's going to say uh, e to the um, 1 over um, x ln of x, right? As x goes to infinity, lim is x goes to infinity. And then this is going to say uh, e to the, and then it's going to be 1 over infinity, essentially, right? Um, and that's going to say, um, 
e to the zeroth power, which is one. So our limit here is one, yeah? All right, cool. So I guess you only have one more video to watch and um, that's uh, not a new indeterminate form, but a fun problem that has more than one indeterminate form in it. So yeah, feel free to watch that or uh, you can consider your studies on L'Hopital's rule complete at this point. Yeah, cool, take care.